So you wanna transfer your WordPress site to some better web hosting. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to move your website from your old host to your new host. I'll cover moving the files using Hostinger's automated tool, how you can move the files manually, and how to make the DNS changes to point your domain to your new web server. Migrating your website is likely an easier process than you think. There's several automated tools out there to do the job, including the one that Hostinger provides as part of their setup process. To get started, go to Hostinger.com com slash Crayler made and pick a plan that's the right fit for your website. Now, this video is sponsored by Hostinger, but I can honestly say that they're one of my favorite web hosts, especially for beginners. They're offering features that you would previously only find in expensive hosting for a fraction of the price. For example, their business plan includes automatic daily backups and a WordPress staging environment. And that's the one I would recommend to most people. The premium plan offers 100 gigabytes of storage, so you can absolutely start there if you'd like, but I think the business plan is worth the extra dollar a month for the automatic daily backups and the WordPress staging environment, not to mention you also get increased performance. To get all of these features for $4 a month is honestly a steal. You can use promo code CRAILERMADE to get an additional discount off of what you see here. And by the time we're watching this video, Hostinger will have kicked off their early Black Friday sale, bringing the base price of the business plan down to $3.49 a month for the four-year option. Plus, my Crayler made promo code stacks on top of that, so make sure you input that code. I'm just going to stick to the business plan, so I'll add this to my cart, and I think I'm gonna roll with the 12-month option. You definitely wanna keep the plan renewal price in mind. It says that under the introductory price so that you know what to expect when your hosting comes up for renewal. You also get a free domain name included in the 12 months plan or larger. So it may be worth investing in at least a year to get that and also to avoid the setup fee that you would pay with the monthly option. Hostinger offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So don't be scared to get the year plan or the four year plan. Try it out, see what you think. And if it's not a fit, you can always get a refund within 30 days. I'm gonna roll with the 12 month plan and I will input the promo code CRAILERMADE and you'll see right here, it brought that total down to 53.89 and we got additional savings. So I'm gonna go ahead and input my billing information and here we go, submit secure payment. And now we wait, get some Jeopardy music up in here. Once you've submitted your payment and opened the account, we can start with the migration process. Hostinger automatically takes us to the setup wizard, so I'll click start now. And I already have a website, so I'll select that. You can input the type of website you have if you'd like. I'm just gonna say business. And who created the website? I built it myself. And now in order to start Hostinger's automated migration process, I'll just select migrate my website. There's two ways that Hostinger can do a migration. If you've had a WordPress site in the past and it's no longer on a web server, but you have a copy of the files, you can upload those website files and Hostinger can make it live again on your new account. Or if you have a website which is already live and you're just moving from your old host to Hostinger, select transfer website. And that's what I'm gonna do now. From here, the easiest method is typically gonna be to provide your WordPress login URL and login credentials. And that's what I'm gonna do with my website. And after you fill that in, just click Submit Request. And that's it. The Hostinger team will get started migrating your website. Now, Hostinger says it can take up to two business days to complete the migration, but in my experience, they usually finish it quicker than this. Their support team will step in and solve any problems that come up if needed. So that's why sometimes it can take a couple days and they may occasionally ask you for more information if they're not able to log into your site or if something comes up. While you're waiting on your site to migrate, you can go ahead and choose the domain that you want your site to be connected to. Hostinger does offer a free domain if you purchased a year plan or longer, but chances are you're gonna wanna have it live on the same domain you're already using since you're just transferring from your old hosting to Hostinger. So I'm gonna select use an existing domain name and I will just input my domain name that I want to use. 
You'll just get a brief confirmation of the domain that you entered, the provider, and where the DNS is currently pointed. All of this is fine, so I'm gonna click continue. And now the last step is to determine the server location where you'd like your website hosted. You wanna pick a location that is geographically closest to the biggest majority of your website traffic. So if you have a large audience in Europe, you would wanna pick a server location over there. Or if it's in America, then the North America location is gonna be a good fit. You can see all the different locations that hosting or offers on the map. So just pick one that's closest to where most of your traffic comes from. For me, that is North America, so I'm going to leave that selected and click Finish Setup. While you wait for your site to initialize, now is a great time to hit that subscribe button and click the bell. It's totally free and you'll receive notifications when I release new videos. At this point, you can check on the migration status at any time in the hosting or control panel. It does give us the option to view the website, but that's not gonna do anything right now since the migration has not yet been completed. So I would click Manage Site and then you can go into the control panel and see what the status is. Once you're in the control panel, the easiest way to check on the status of your migration is to click Websites, and right here it will give you the status. It says Migration in Progress. You can click Learn More, and then you can see status is in progress. If the hosting or team needs anything from you, they will usually update the status right here and request additional information. Now, before we can continue to the next step and update our DNS records to point to the hosting or web server, the migration needs to complete. So you are gonna have to wait potentially a couple days before you proceed. If you're interested in migrating your website manually so you can do it faster, I'm gonna show you how to do that later in this video. But the next step I'm about to cover assumes that Hostinger has finished the migration and it's been one to two days and you're ready to point your domain from your old web host to your new web host. When your migration is finished and you're ready to point your domain to Hostinger, your dashboard will show this little indicator saying domain status not pointing to our name servers. And when you scroll down, you'll see this little button that says connect. From here, you can select your domain provider. They list a couple common options, but if you're not using one of these providers, that's okay you can just click Other. In my case, I am using Porkbun, so I'll just click Other and then let's start. And here they're gonna give you the name servers to copy into your domain registrar's dashboard. Don't be intimidated by this, it's actually really simple. I'm going to do this quickly with Porkbun, but if you're using a different domain registrar, the process is really easy. Essentially, just look in your dashboard and look for name servers on your domain. Go ahead and edit that. And you just wanna make sure that you list both name servers that they tell you to include. So I'll submit those changes in Porkbun. And then I'll go back to Hostinger, click continue. And we're all set. So the name servers may take up to 24 hours to update. So it's a good idea to leave your old hosting active for one to two days before you pull the plug on it because you wanna make sure that everyone sees your website when they visit your domain. And over the next day, it may or may not point to the old host or the new host. I wanna make a quick note about changing your domain's name servers. If you have a custom email address, pointing your name servers to hosting or is going to temporarily break your email. You can fix this and I'll show you how in just a second, but if your email address is hosted at your old web host, chances are you probably wanna migrate that away from them anyway. I'm not gonna cover how to do that in this video because I am personally a fan of using Google Workspace or Microsoft Outlook or a quality dedicated email hosting provider instead of entrusting that to your web host. So although Hostinger does offer email services, I'm not gonna cover that in this video. But if you do know the DNS records for your email, here's how you can add those in Hostinger and ensure your email keeps functioning properly. Go over to the dashboard and go under Advanced and DNS zone editor. And here you can add the appropriate MX records and TXT records and everything you need to make sure your email address continues functioning. If you're not sure what these records are or where to find them, go to your email host and ask. They can definitely provide all the records for you. If you are in a situation where you have to manually manage your DNS records, I would consider setting up Cloudflare. It's a free DNS management solution that offers speed and security benefits. I use it on all of my websites. And the biggest hurdle for people to get started is 
is the fact that you do have to manually manage your DNS records. And I completely understand the convenience of using the name servers, just pointing your domain there and being done with it. So that's why I say, if you're gonna have to do this anyway to make sure that your custom email is still functioning, you might as well do the same thing at Cloudflare and get the added performance benefits. I have an entire tutorial video on my channel about how to get started with Cloudflare. As you can see, migrating your website to hosting or using their automated tool is really simple. It's essentially just stepping through the setup wizard and they do the rest of the work for you. The biggest downside is definitely the wait time. It takes up to two business days and if they request additional info or hit a snag, it could take even longer. So if you'd like to transfer your website manually, there are a number of plugins that can help you do this. I'm gonna show you how to do this using all-in-one WP migration. It's a free self-service plugin that will let you export a copy of your website on your old web host and then import it to a clean install of WordPress at your new web host. The biggest advantage to doing this is that your site gets migrated faster. It's finished as soon as you're done stepping through this process. But the downside is that the hosting or team is not there to help you every step of the way. When you migrate your website through Hostinger, they are seeing the process from start to finish, and if there's any issues or complications, they can get what they need from you to solve the problem. Whereas here, you're kind of on your own if something goes wrong. But the good news is, trying this process yourself is low risk. If something does go wrong, it's really easy to delete the clean install of WordPress at Hostinger and try again, or just say, never mind, I'm gonna have the Hostinger team migrate my site for me. If you do wanna give all-in-one WP migration a shot, the first thing we need to do is create a clean install of WordPress in Hostinger so we have something to import the file into. Now, don't worry, Hostinger allows up to 100 websites with their lowest plan and more websites on the higher plans, so you're able to create a new installation of WordPress without having to pay for another account. Go to the Hostinger dashboard and under Websites, click Create or Migrate a Website. Now, I don't need any personalization on this website since I just need a clean copy of WordPress. Everything is gonna be overwritten when we import our file from our old web host, so I'm gonna say skip, I don't want a personalized experience. I do want to create a new website. I will select that. I do want WordPress, so I will select that. And we do need to keep track of this username and password because we're gonna log in initially and install all-in-one WP migration. After we import the file, this login is going to become what it typically is on your website from your old host. So this is just temporary. I will just put in a password that I can keep track of. From here, we don't need any customization. I'm going to skip this option. I'm going to skip the template section, skip the content writing section. And now what I'm gonna do is say, choose a domain later. I'm gonna select this temporary domain because this is gonna allow us to access the new clean install of WordPress on hosting or servers before we migrate our domain name over with the DNS. And this is key. We need to be able to access both copies of WordPress at the same time so we can export the data from the old one, import it to the new one. Then once we verify the migration is successful, we can route our DNS to hosting or servers. So I'm going to select choose a domain later. Now you can kick back for a few minutes and wait for the new website to initialize. Once this is complete, we need to go to the admin panel of the clean install of WordPress. And we can click this admin panel button and it should log us in right away. I'm gonna to go to our dashboard and we need to install the all-in-one WP migration plugin. So I'll go to plugins, add new and search for all in one migration. Uh, and this is the one we're looking for right here. So this one, I'm going to click install now and then I'll click activate. Now you need to repeat this process on your live website. The plugin needs to be installed on the live website and the new website at Hostinger. I've already done this. So I'm gonna go to my live website and I will just go to all-in-one WP migration and go to the export tab. Now I will say export to file and let the plugin do its thing. It may take a couple of minutes. It was really fast in my case. So I already have a file that I can download. You just need to click the big green box that is 
uh, highlighting itself to you on the screen. So I'll click that and save it to my downloads. Once the download is complete, go back to the temporary domain and the clean copy of WordPress and Hostinger and go to all-in-one migration and import. Then you can choose to import from file and select the one that you downloaded. Once the file is uploaded, you're gonna get this big scary warning saying that it's about to overwrite your website and make sure you have a backup. Don't worry, this is the clean copy of WordPress that we just created on Hostinger and here's the good news. If this goes terribly wrong and it breaks WordPress, it doesn't really matter. Right now we have a blank website with nothing on it. So if things do go south with the import process, we can just delete the website in the Hostinger panel, generate a new one and try again, or go to the Hostinger team and have them do the migration. So don't worry about this. It's not as scary as it sounds. You can go ahead and click proceed. And that's it, that was really quick. It says your site has been imported successfully. So I will click finish. And now I wanna go take a look and see what our site looks like. And there it is, just like that, my website is running on Hostinger. Only took a couple minutes really with all-in-one WP migration, and it really wasn't that difficult. The final step in the process is to connect your domain name so you're not using this temporary domain anymore. To do that, go to the website section of the Hostinger panel, and there's this button that says connect domain under the temporary domain. Click this and choose the appropriate domain. You can claim the free one or choose your existing one. And that's what I'm gonna do here. And just confirm the details, click continue. And now you're gonna follow that same process that I showed earlier in the video of going to your domain registrar and updating the name servers to point to Hostinger. Once you've done that, your website is live on Hostinger and you've successfully transferred your WordPress site. You can follow this all-in-one WP migration process using any web host, but I would definitely recommend checking out Hostinger as I'm a big fan of the features they provide at such an affordable price. Make sure to go to hostinger.com slash made and use promo code CRAILERMADE for additional savings. Now that you have your new hosting, you might want to set up a custom email next. I've got an entire tutorial on how to set up Google Workspace that you can check out here.